Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon Showcase video. This time we're going to be showcasing Palisand, which I spelled wrong here. But uh, this is a team that my boy Eonex built. Really offensively based team with Specs Palisand with HP Flying since we're weak to Heracross. Uh, Life Orb Sellyu with Stealth Rock. Pursuit Snorlax. This one is down here. I didn't even realize. Uh, Spikes Klefki for Palisand support and Celebi support. Uh, physically defensive my to check Metagross and then um, Heracross, Scarf Heracross to clean up. Now I tested the team out a bit, a lot of fun. I played a Sicky Web team which I just straight up lost to since I had no hazard support and Honchko just destroyed the team. Uh, you can't Thunder Wave that thing with Klefki because it's a dark type and it dies to plus one super power. So it's still a fun team though. Hopefully we can get some games and some matchups that are not impossible for us though. And if I see the Sicky Web team I'm just going to forfeit since I actually cannot beat it. I don't think I can beat it unless I have maybe. I, there's no mod I can put Rabbitson on. So, or default. Yeah, so hopefully we can just find some good games. Um, Feel free to check out the playlist down below, like I said, if you missed any of my previous showcases. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Those links are down below. This is the uh, Zinnia Remix by Omar and Matt Houston. There's a link to his channel down below. I also encourage you to check that out. If you want to go ahead and, uh, you probably recognize the beat, but if you want to go ahead and find the song, of course, that's easy. Literally just gave you the title. Um, Alright, we got a game. Versus Aurora Veil vale offense. Alright, this would be another tough game, uh, but I think that Heracross as a lead is just fantastic. Because it beats the Aurora Veil vale Mon. Also gets up Hail, which wears down Don Fan, so... I will go right for the close combat if he wants to go for Roarville. We do not knock him out. Is that a roll or is that just like... Is that just like supposed to live that? I'll go for another close combat. I don't want to um, predict anything coming in, especially if it's going to be this giant monster, which is Metagross. Yeah, I got some chip damage. Yeah, I don't want to predict and switch out versus offense and lose because of it. Um, wow, I like Palisand in this game. I just click Shadow Ball. Kills everything. Uh, so we'll go my Lodic here. My Lodic should be able to eat up anything that's coming out at it. As well as waste another turn of Aurora Belt. Eats up that Meteor Mash. No attack raise either. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm faster than Metagross. That looks like bandit damage, I would say. Yeah, so we'll recover up here. Again, we're still just stalling out some turns. Go Celebi. This allows me to go out to my own Celebi and get up my rocks. Uh, which threaten everything on the team. Celebi actually destroys this team as well. I don't know if it's Nasty Plot Celebi, but I do have Heracross with Scarf in the back, so I'm not worried about that either. So we'll go route to my Celebi. I can get up my rocks. I threaten Dawn Fan. Goes for Giga Drain. Isn't going to be doing much. Uh, we'll see if he has the Light, yep, light Clay on the uh, Nine Tails. That's fine. U turn crits me, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. I can block the Rapid Spin, though, with Palisand. That's just unfortunate that U turn crit me because I wanted this Mon alive for Como. It destroyed Como and it also destroyed Lucario. Uh, but he decides to make a pretty poor play and uses his Lu turn to sack his Ninetales to go out to Como, which is also going to die to Psychic. So my opponent made a series, or not gonna die, he's a Salt Vest, but my opponent made a series of poor plays there. He's not a Salt Vest, it's just straight up Dragon Dance. Oh my god, you monster. We can go out to Klefki. I don't know if you have Sky Uppercut, but I do have the Magnet Rise. To avoid a random earthquake, he has all up pummeling, and I am dead. All right, but the good thing is, unfortunately, my Klefki is gone, but the Aurora Veil is gone, which means I can also just knock out Heracross. I'm I'm dumb. I don't I know why I saw Aurora Veil as Reflect. I I don't know what's wrong with me. So I made a series of dumb plays by going for second. With Celebi was still the best play because I can knock him out with close combat. Yeah, and this also allows me to knock out Metagross at plus one. Same thing with Lucario, but I also just completely sacked. My Klefki for no reason when I could have Thunder Wave Lucario. Uh, Metagross will die. Too close combat after South Rock. Celebi comes in. Not too big of a deal. I can go route to Luc uh, Snorlax. Snorlax prevents him from setting up with anything. As he goes for that T-Wave. So I think we know his entire set. Uh, but I'm going to go for Pursuit here just to get off a little bit of chip damage. I don't care if he goes Dawn Fan because I can just start throwing off Shadow Balls then with Palisand. Which is exactly what I want. I would have went right for uh, frustration as well, but I'm not sure what type of offense he is. And I want damage off on 
Is this showdown lagging to see if I'll actually get off this pursuit? Because it looks like showdown is lagging right here. It actually looks like showdown is lagging. Okay. So is it deciding if I'll get full parrot? Okay, thank you. Yeah, take that loan and decide if I got full parrot. You actually paralyzed me in the process. <laughs> uh, so Don Fan comes out. I still do like rocks being up. We can go out into Palisand here and just fire off Shadow Ball. Spec Shadow Ball is going to be doing a lot. No Rapid Spin for you, friend. No Rapid Spin for you. Go ahead and catch this Spec Shadow Ball. That is not a switch in, buddy. This is Choice Specs. This is Modest Choice Specs. Goodbye. So Celebi is gone, which means he has trouble feet, uh, beating my Lodic. Metagross comes out. I do live one hit because I am very, very bulky. Even if it's banded. So we're going to be able to get another kill with Palisand. Goodbye. Good day. Good B. Lucario is going to come out. If he wants to SD up, he has to take a Spec Shadow Ball. And he is a Flash Cannon set. So thankfully, he's also a Nasty Plot. Which makes him a lot easier to deal with. We can go route to Heracross. I do want to click Knock Off here, but it's very scary if he sets up a Flash Cannon. Or, uh, if he sets up a Flash Cannon. If he sets up a Nasty Plot. So I'd much rather just go out to Donphan. Click Close Combat. Do a hell of a lot. What the hell? What is this damage? And we can go around to my Lodic and just click Haze repeatedly versus Nasty Plot Lucario. Misses a gunk shot. So I messed up a little bit versus Como. Um, I completely... I, I, I don't know why I was... Uh, when I talked about him having Light Clay, I don't know why I um, I was like, yeah, man, that, that Reflect is there. I, like, in my head, it was Reflect, even though I understood it was Aurora Veil. I don't know. A thousand did some work. Nasty Plot doesn't matter. You can't beat Heracross at plus two. Plus, you have to set up on a Scald. I can just click Scald again. Yeah, I knew Aurora wouldn't kill me. And Scald will be able to 2-a KO him, and that's going to be a good game. So, um, very odd play on my opponent's part. You turning out into his Ninetales would die to rocks. I think he forgot that. Um, also, on the rest of his uh, Palisand, a boy took a hit from Metagross. That was that had to be banned in Metagross. Or something like that. I don't know. It did so much to physically defense my Lodic. Like, I'm actually... I am physically defensive my Lodic. And I resist. Then again, Metagross is strong. So I don't know if that was banned or not. You can find out right now, actually. Got the calc right here. Metagross, you choice ban. My Lodic. It did 28%. There's no way that wasn't banned. Yep, 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 yep. I was right. Okay. So that was a banned hit, and we ate it. I got another game versus a Spec Swallow user. Always fun. It does have Scrappy. That's also always fun. Um, I really like Klefki as a lead. Oh, so, thank God we have Klefki too. He has so many mons that are just annoying. <laughs> uh, I can't actually smack Solo, hit Swallow with this. Uh, what I actually like is Snorlax as a lead. Because Snorlax beats Swallow. And threaten Swampert. Though I will be switching out into my own Celebi here. I don't want to get Scalded. I also want to get on my Rocks. I'm assuming he's going to get up his uh, rocks of his own. Yep. So now we have rocks this entire game unless he decides to defog. Goes hard into Togekiss. I'm assuming I'm going to get air slashed here. But if he does defog, I can Thunder Wave now with my Klefki. Okay, so Pete got up hazards to defog them away. That's always fun. <laughs> That's fine. Just wasted the first couple turns. But we'll get up a spike here. Because do you risk Togekiss here? I don't think so. Oh, I guess you do. Really? For 12%? Actually, 6% at the end of the turn. Cast this yellow color. Alright, so, my opponent made a good play, I guess, getting up damage, but at the end of the day, I got my leftovers all the way back up to full. And, or not, what the hell? 99.4, don't be playing with me. Uh, we'll be able to go out to my Celebi now. On a double to Swellow. Very solid play on my opponent's part. Pretty sure I live any hit. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it though. I'm not sure if he's going for Boom Burst or Heat Wave or U-Turn. I'm going out to Snorlax. Yeah, nice. Um, as he did go for that U-Turn, so I have a Snorlax in. A spike is up. Something is dying, and it's not going to be my Snorlax. I don't care if he goes Krogunk. I'm clicking Earthquake. Krogunk is a threat if it sets up. I don't have Earthquake on my own Heracross, so Krogunk is actually a pretty big threat. I have Stone Edge because Crobat's in the tier. Palisand can come in versus Klefki and just click Shadow Ball. 
He does have Swallow, obviously, but I want to get rid of that Mon. Toxic Girl comes in. If I see leftovers, I'm staying in. Black Sludge, yeah, that's good enough for me to stay in. That is way too... He wasn't knocking me out, and I get rid of a giant, giant threat for my Palisand. As well as just my Heracross. So, able to get rid of the Toxic Croak so early, and Scarf Heracross is going to have a little bit of fun this game. Uh, I got to keep Klefki healthy, so I can take on Swampert. Uh, excuse me. Tokus. I don't want to switch out to Klefki or Celebi. I'm going to go for Dressation, just in case he wants to double. Even if he goes to that Earthquake, I am still weakening him for my Megahorn. And I can save Snorlax's fodder later for uh, Cel for Swallow. So while this would be very nice for Alakazam, I have Klefki. And we can go out to Celebi now. On his next Quake. And I want to click Psychic just to gauge the damage. Uh, also, if he wants to risk Celebi, uh, if, if he wants to risk Swallow. Alternatively, I could just go for Giga Drain. Yeah. Psychic is better, though. I'll gauge the damage on Togekiss. Ooh, that was a crit. What else for Death Drop? Where is Masma Dev drop? He has to recover here. Honestly, I don't see a reason not to go my Lodic. He should recover here. Um, so he should go for Roost. Doubles out into Keys. Surprisingly, uh, are you going to randomly switch a Rumi? I feel like that's coming. I'll go out to uh, Snorlax just to scout if he has like a random switcheroo set because I see no item. Uh, as he's... Um, he has light screen and reflect, uh, but don't you? Okay, we'll just start fire punching this guy. Get some damage off here. Pokus was his play of choice. I mean, if you want to defog, then you get rid of that spike. Yeah, but then I get to go for frustration here. Um, if fire punch to twenty four percent, this is easily going to be a two KO. So maybe not as easy as I thought, but he's still giving me recover, recovery with leftovers. So I'll go for another one. Especially because I have a lot of split death, so I can take an air slash. Ooh, we don't care about that. No, not the rolls. But every single time he goes for a roost, uh, not only is he stalling out his screens, but he's also giving me world recover to live air slashes. And he's putting himself in range of Stone Edge from Heracross, which I hate that I have to go for that. I I'm not going to risk it, but... Did Stone Edge break through? Oh, no, I did not. I think after this leftovers turn, I do live the next air slash, though. Would you risk this? I guess you did. 60%. It's in his favor. But light screen is gone, though. Nice. The screen is gone. So, um, I fall down to that. How much did Psychic do? Psychic did 60 on a crit. Sixty on a crit is more so like 35 than 40. Ugh, bad play on my part. But we'll risk it. Ghost Key, so this allows me to get up my Stealth Rock now, uh, which means that he will be dying upon switching. I also want to get rid of this Mon, but we'll get up our Stealth Rock. We will threaten that, and I will keep clicking Psychic. No matter what, you are not bringing that token. So yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is good. Nothing's coming in, nothing keeps its focus, Sash. Everything is going to be the whittle. Everything is going to be whittle. And I get a spin drop too? Clean. And click the Psychic again. I don't care about Zam. All I have to do is wear down his hazards. He's going to lose to close combat anyway. Zam is probably going to die to like plus one close combat. Uh, and if I get rid of Klefki, he can't Thunder Wave me. Alternatively, I could go out into my... Palisand now, but I don't want to get rid of my hazard just in case he chooses to switch. I don't want him going Togekiss. Togekiss will be able to live one Psychic. It should be able to live one. Misses a Thunder Wave. That's fun. And I get a crit on top of that. That's... Wow. Probably the best turn I could possibly ask for. Go Zammer. Klefki is the best play. Not only does a Thunder Wave Zam uh, while also wasting his Light Screen... Which isn't so much of a threat, but I keep Celebi alive for Swampert. And if I Thunder Wave Togekiss, I can beat a 1v1 with my Palisan. So Psychic's me. I'm actually going to attempt to double here predicting Swampert, but I don't want to. I don't want him making... 
I'll go for Thunder Wave. It's an all-around no-risk play, because even if he goes Swampert, that's just less turns. That is just less turns, and it still gives me my uh, my Celebi as a switching. So go Celebi now. I live Scald, I live... He doesn't have Ice Beam. Nice double into Swellow. Okay, take some chips. Stealth Rock, Chip. What are you going for? Find out right now. You're going to go for Heat Wave? You're going to go for Boom Burst? You should go for Boom Burst. There we go. Ooh, that looks like a solid to a KO. By solid, I don't mean that solid. Hey. Go ahead and live this with a, lo a little bit. No. Light screen is gone, though. In order to close combat sweep him, which I will be doing. I need damage with the keys. Um, I want to just click play rough here. I'd rather damage off on Swamper than predict anything. Actually, we're doubling up Celebi. I don't even care if he goes pert. Or not. I don't want Togekiss coming in and defogging. Yeah. Yeah, now something dies to Psychic, so I don't care. And the Reflect is gone, which means I can just click Close Combat and win. Or win with Palisand as well. So Life of Psychic should be able to take something out. Good B. Swallow is going to come out. I'll just sack this. Doesn't do anything versus the rest of his team anyway. Palisand is still there, so he can always one take a hit from uh, Malakazam if needed. Pretty sure at plus one, I do knock out. I, I'm pretty sure at plus one, I knock out... Um, Tokus, so we'll go for that close combat here. That is not a counter! Not a 15%, no way. Yeah, not a 15%, buddy. You are not a counter. So we'll knock him out with two close combats. While keeping up our Stealth Rock. Now I'm trying to decide what the best play is, or the best course of action is versus Alakazam. Because if it's Sash, it's obviously better to attack it. Uh, with Klefki anyway, not with that, Mon. Focus Blast, well played. I'm going to click Play Rough here. Yeah. Because, like I said, if he is Focus Sash, it is better to attack what is in front of me. If Focus Blast or Psychic is coming out, I'm just going to go out into Palisand and get my kills now with uh, Hidden Power Flying. Yep. Lived. Eating up. Specs hit and power flying should be able to knock out Alakazam. And all he has left is that Swellow versus Scarf Hair across. I already know he specs Swellow. Obviously, Scrappy. If you guys didn't realize why I wasn't switching into Boom Burst, Scrappy lets you hit ghost types. A Boom Burst. So it definitely wasn't worth something. Like, like I couldn't switch in Palace It would get destroyed. <laughs> it would get absolutely destroyed. But the game is won. I think an earlier turn that really, really helped me and it helped a lot of mid ground play because. Toxicroak is a big threat, was me just earthquaking it. Right off the bat. I knew Snorlax could live a Drain Punch, at least one, um, and knock it out with Earthquake. So getting rid, uh, obviously the crit on Klefki as well helped me out because he, I didn't have to risk that thing switching back and forth, getting up his Light Screen and his Reflect, which is very annoying. I can't believe we actually played screens twice already. Live just started. But just in general, like screens twice isn't, screens in general isn't something you see as much. Then again, with Aurora Veil being so common. Alright, but we can go right out to Heracross, click close combat, and win the game. Could be. Oh, it doesn't let me say good. Yeah. Go ahead and look for another one. Ah, I'm, li I'm liking the games though. Palisand's really fun. Palisand's a little fun. Getting some nice kills, eating up some attacks. Spikes are really nice as well, helping Heracross out. Scarf Heracross is so good. Lucario's a little bit annoying, but obviously Celebi at high HP. Can check that thing. I could also put Leftovers over Life Orb if I want. Um, though obviously I hit a lot uh, weaker, or I hit a lot harder rather, with the uh, the Life Orb damage. Life Orb kind of clean on this mod too. I'm thinking that... I'm, I'm 
thinking that maybe... Like, where are the chandeliers, man? I haven't seen chandelier at all. It's not like many Pursuit users are being used. You're not going to use Pursuit Metagross. There's like Snorlax and that's about it. <laughs> maybe Absol. Maybe because Pursuit Absol is being used. So that Chandler usage is down. I mean, Absol's not going to stay in RU for that long. Chandler's not going to stay in RU. Ante's not going to stay in RU. Snorlax isn't going to stay in RU. Melodic's not going to stay in RU. Clefki's not going to stay in RU. Celebi's not going to stay in RU. Heracross. I think all the Mons on my team outside of Palisand are going to be in RU within the next... Like, are going to be out of RU within the next few months. I think Palisand will be the only Mon that'll still be in RU within the next couple months. Maybe Clefki because of the Dark type. Um, what happened to them, but... We got one versus an Absol user. Which we're fine versus. I'm gonna lead off with Palisand because Specs Palisand threatens this. He has Sun, which is really cool. Why does he lead off with the one Pokemon that I would not want him to lead off with? Uh, so we're gonna switch out to Klefki. Unfortunately, we have to take a knockoff so early. Does 399 attack knock? Of course, it knocks us out. But this still does tech trick hair across. But the thing is, in, in O code, uh, Torkoal. Nothing. And then he's talking about the mod joint. But yeah, we're not going to risk this right now. He has double... This is weird. Okay. Well, he has double um, magic bounce. I'll just play rough here. Yeah. Nice. So he sacks the Absol right away. That was probably the biggest threat for Palisan outside of Venusaur. Espeon comes out. What are you going to do? I'll go Snorlax because I have Pursuit. Uh, probably just gonna start setting up screens though. And he has Psy Shock. That's great. That's always nice. I would love to have this Mon alive for Venusaur. The threat. If I have Thunder Wave in the back as well. Alright, doubles into Torkoal. Um, I love Celebi Speed here, but I really, really, really want Rocks up. So I'm going for them. And I do not want him rapid spinning, so I'm actually gonna risk my my palace end. Very risky play on my part. If you allow him, it's unfortunate. And he just overheats and I die. What is this game? I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. Palace could have destroyed him. I didn't expect overheat torque. How am I supposed to predict this? I think I still went with hair cross, but it's just gonna be more annoying now, especially because I is that specs? That's beyond her scarf. All right, we're gonna have to go with my Lodic here, and we're gonna give him the rabbit. I can't believe I just got overheated. I'm sad. I have so much too. And he exploded. Okay, so no rabbit. Okay, so that's not my fault. I couldn't have predicted that. I could not have predicted that. Ente comes out. Is he Solar Beam weakness policy? Who are you? No, he just goes out to his Ente to Sacred Fire my Water type. Burning in the process, which makes me stronger, to or easier to take him on. And wasting his sun turns. There's a solar beam. Okay, and that does absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm pretty positive that he has weakness policy. That's why I'm not going for Scald. So we're going to Toxic this boy. I just switched out to Venusaur. Good play, good play, good play. Should have done that before. Good play going out to Venusaur. Let's go out to our, our Klefki here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to click Psychic twice or three times with my Celebi. So, gross up. And there is no way I'm not clicking Thunder Wave here. There's absolutely no other way. Gets the full para as well, so I'm actually going to go for a Spike. Be a little bit greedy here. But I need to wear down that, uh, that Espeon. Because I can lose to it in the late game. Uh, but we'll be able to go out to Celebi. Life Orb Psychic should be able to knock out Venusaur at that range. I think it's gonna come down to what type of Heracross he is. Can Hacks just finally be removed instead of nerfing a speed drive? Like seriously? Oh, he's talking a lot to me. I don't. <laughs> I guess he's just spreading his feeling. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I'm pretty positive that. Is this thing shadow balling me or signal beaming? Either way, I'm going out into Snorlax because I'm not going to risk that. Not about to risk this. When I can go for Pursuit. Oh, he tricked me. Alright, that makes it easier to deal with. Thank God he tricked me. Uh, so we can just click Frustration here. He has no switch-ins. 
as I go down, though I would have went down to that anyway, by the looks of it, uh, we can go on into our Heracross, and uh, Knockoff should be able to knock out Espeon, then he could be some random bulky Espeon, so I'm going to talk this real quick, because I don't want to risk missing. Hmm, seems it dies, always. Alright, so I didn't want to risk missing that. That card didn't matter. Uh, we're going to be able to get rid of the... We're going to be able to get rid of the um, Espeon there. And I can win with just Celebi. So I'm going to click Knockoff on this dude. He can't knock me out any one hit. Getting rid of Heracross's potential choice scarf means that Celebi gets to click uh, Psychic. And he was Scarf, yep. Go ahead and take some damage, boy. Man, I just get to win with Celebi in the back. Um, and I don't think he knocks me out with anything, unless he goes for like edge or something. So Heracross goes down. Unfortunately, I if he was a rapid spinning Torkoal, and not like the eruption overheating explosion. He didn't go for eruption, but like some sort of explosion thing, I would have been fine. Um, and then I would have been able to just click Earth Power with Palace and get a kill. But that's my fault, I guess. Anyway, if anything wants to be Sacred Fire Extreme Speed, it has to be Adamant. So it'll be faster. I'll be able to knock it out with Psychic. I, will, I do not die to a crit. Good game. Alright, so. Let's look for another one. I'm so sad, though, that Palacin actually got absolutely obliterated by the overheat. <laughs> I was, like, fighting Flannery. <laughs> like, what happened? Poor Palacin came in and was like, Yeah, man. Hmm, I'm just sad. I'm just sad. I'm just trying. Playing the sun. Looking for my water immunity. Where are you? Nowhere. Unfortunately. But, it's okay. We'll find another game. And that was the perfect game for it too. It was actually Scarf Heracross. All I had to do was click Shadow Ball. All I had to do was click Spec Shadow Ball. Everything was falling down. I'm going to bet you though that that was Weakness Paciente. If you're running Solar Beam and stuff like that. Uh, got a cool team. Really like my opponent's team. Very much like it. I'm gonna have a palace ant. Have fun. Uh, even though this absolutely destroys the team, so I'm gonna lead off with my Lotus. <laughs> As he leads off with Palace Swine, and we'll just throw off a Scald here. If he goes Lorantis, doesn't have enough Lee Storms to 1v1 my team. Does it? Maybe it does. I will go Hera because we can eat up any hit and threaten him with a knockoff. Very nice double in the Kirim. I do have the knockoff here. I expect him to go Alamola and I want to get rid of its uh, item very, very early. So that makes it a lot easier to deal with throughout this game. We can go out into Celebi now. I honestly see him doubling into Kirim, but I do have Kel uh, that thing in the back. Yeah, it just throws off a Skull. That's fine. So, uh, Lorantis is a play he can make, but I'll get my Stealth Rock if he doesn't choose to make that play. He does go Lorantis. We'll find out if it's Spadef or Physically Defensive right now by just throwing off a Psychic. Uh, this thing dominates his team. So, show me if you're Spadef. Okay, you ate that. <laughs> that boy straight up ate. Straight up ate. But you do only have a limited number of Synthesis. Go for a cover here. Uh, I doubt Darmanitan is coming in. He might just go for this. If anything, Kiram might come out. I'll go to my Stealth Rock just in case Kiram comes out. Because if he wants to Leaf Storm me, he only has, like I said, a limited number. And there you go. Six more Synthesis. Um, hmm. Got Heracross now on his Defog. Do I want to just click Mega Horn? I just want to click Close Combat. There's no reason not to click Mega Horn. Dun 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 That did nothing. Physically defensive Alan Mola, you monster. Go for it again. <laughs> this is an MV play right here. Go for it again, get a crit. <laughs> uh. Curse Lax absolutely destroys. Television is the best play though. If I was Curse Lax, obviously I was looking at my if I was Curse Lax. 
Doubles out into Darmanitan, which obviously works out. Didn't expect him to go there. I do have my Lodic as a switch in though. On the U-turn, playing well, playing well. What type of Mian Chao are you? What type of Kurum are you? Are you Specs or are you Sub Toxic? I think he's Sub Toxic. Or Sub Bruce or something. Mmm, that makes this harder to be honest. Magna Rise just in case he has Earth Power. Clean. Avoided. Alright, we'll just play rough here. That sub, Palace Line. Uh, if you want to get off some hazards, that's fine. I'll just get up my spike on your Stealth Rock. I don't really mind that. I really don't. Let's go my Lodic here. Um, but I guess he could go Lorantis, but Lorantis doesn't 1v1 me. I, I think go Darmanitan, exactly. Yeah. So Darmanitan was the play that I expected. Uh, we'll throw off a Toxic here. I don't want Kirin coming in. I don't want Alamola coming in. I'm assuming Lorantis is going to come out. Uh, but we're also wasting its aromatherapies by landing this Toxic. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to proceed to go for the Defog or the... Um, or the aromatherapy here. And if he goes for defog, then I keep up my spike, obviously. Or I keep up the toxic on him. Nice. Nice close combat switchings. Oh, you? Didn't realize. As you're taking damage. Go ahead and sack this Lorantz. I'll take that. 6%? Yeah, get rid of your defog. I don't need that. Give me that moxie boost too. Okay, so Lorantis is gone. Er um, awesome. That would have been a lot harder to deal with had Lorantis still been alive. We'll take this. How much is my load cat? I still eat. Hollis Wine is going to come in and probably go for the... S well, I guess it could go for Stealth Rock if it wants to. Would be smart. Goes for Ice Shard though. So this allows me to Toxic Palace Wine as well. Put that boy on a timer. Tanking his Earthquake. Um, I expect him to predict me to recover, so I'm actually going to go for Double Toxic Predicting Curum. And we got it. Did we land it? And we landed it, so we 1v1 his entire team now with just my Lodic. <laughs> Shouldn't have sacked your... Uh, I live any hit. It's sub Bruce, so I live literally any hit. And I can go right for recover here. Doubles out to Darmanitan. I had no reason not to stay in. Yeah, he's going to forfeit. Yep. So that was a very solid player. Um, he just got a little bit overconfident staying in versus Lorantis just to leave Storm to put me in range of Ice Shard. And a few, you know, key plays on my part obviously put him down. wonder how much rank wise Burt testing. It's a really cool team, though. But I could tell he was solid just based on how he's playing. Even, even if he was... <laughs> Even if um, even if he's just testing, I really could tell he was solid, just the way he's playing. Uh, but we're looking for one more, because I want Palisade to come out at least one more time. But yeah, I really love Lorantis, uh, especially as a defogger in this tier, and as a, a cleric user. Very solid, scares, very scary versus my team. He could have also started boosting. But the double toxic, predicting Kyrum, because recovery was so obvious, and he get up a sub. Even if I didn't land that toxic, I still had good chances of winning. Snorlax was in the back, healthy. I could always go for recover as well with my Lodic versus that just to get back up to full to better help me take on Darmanitan. I have Palisand in the back so Mianxiao could never, ever spam high jump kick. But I understand him weakening me if he was Scarf Darmanitan plus Scarf Mianxiao because Scarf Mianxiao, if Heracross is at about that percentage, Heracross does die after rocks, which he could very easily get up with his Palace line. This will be the last game of the live. Hopefully it's a good one, nice and quick one for Palisand to just come through. Alright, we got one versus Honchko. Honchko is a huge threat to the team. Uh, we do have the keys, obviously, but... Is that enough? We're going to lead Palisand because if he leads off with Donphan, it's a great lead matchup for me. And um, if he leads off with Rotom, I can hard switch directly into Celebi and get up my rocks. It's just the Honchko that's the scariest thing for me. 
But I do have Scarf Heracross in the back. Thankfully, Scarf Heracross also destroys him. So we're going to the Palace in. Because he does have... Hey. Because he does have um, two cannon, I can't click Shadow Ball or Earth Power. I hope he doesn't Volt Switch immediately. Because I don't want to be in the Volt Turn combo. I really want him to go for Leaf Storm here. Maybe he would have got to my Celebi. And just click who else set the timer to save the chat so fast. <laughs> so it goes right for Leaf Storm. Great. We're going to be able to get our Stealth Rock here. This would be, if this was like Earth Power 3 attacks, like what I was supposed to be, destroyed him as well. Two Cannon comes up. This is a scary Pokemon, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. We're going to go out to Keys. If he's mixed, ah, oh, then I'm so weak to Honchko, but that's fine. Klefki is still the best play. As he SDs up. Yeah, you can catch this yellow color, buddy. I don't care. Very smart on my opponent's part to go Dawnfin. Very solid play. Indeed. Oh, we're going to go Palace in now, though. Rocks are up. I can start clicking Energy Ball. Specs Energy Ball is going to be hurting this guy. Not going to let him spin. Very solid play going for knockoff again, but that doesn't... Doesn't that help me, actually? Yeah, we'll throw off an Energy Ball because it hits two cannon upon switching as well. As, uh... Should bring Donfin close to sturdy. Very, very close to sturdy. And we'll just throw off another Energy Ball because... We'll throw off another Energy Ball because that, uh, he has no switchings at all to it. I guess two cannon. I'll go for HP flying. Sacks Don fan, so he's not gonna be able to get off the spin at all. And I'm gonna just put try and put a door that way you don't hear anybody talking in the background. But okay, so Palisand would have been nice to be able to deal with the blade. I think my Lodic can deal with um my Lodic can at least deal with the blade plus maybe two cannon? I don't know. My Lodic can deal with the blade and slow king to an extent. The blade comes out, probably just gonna go for Shadow Snake. I can go to my Lodic and just click Scald. Actually, I'll throw off a Toxic. Because we tanked that Iron Head for days. Nice. Throw off a Toxic here because it hits Rotom. Upon switching and Slow King, which is amazing. Didn't expect Slow King to want to come out. But we're able to land a nice Toxic. He is very susceptible to being swept by Megahorn. Are you going to talk to me back or you have Specs Grass or something? Uh, at this point, I'm going to sack my Palace in. As he has the future sight. That's fine. I'm staying in no matter what. I will go for Hidden Power Flying because oh, I was attempting to stay in no matter what. No, he has a Psy Shock. Actually, this is also still fine. Yeah, because I can go out to Slow Bro. He can't switch due to Pursuit. He could try and go to the Blade, but he can't switch due to Pursuit. Get rid of the Slow King immediately and take a, a future sight as well. So great. Sloking is gone. The blade comes out. We go my Lodic and we click Haze and then recover. Yeah, good play. Going for SD. So we click Haze here. Get rid of that. Stat changes. Yum! And now we just click recover so we can better take it on after. Um, Rotom can come out but by me keeping... I think it's Specs Rotom. Then again, I'm not sure. I at least stormed it a lot. I feel like I could just tank this and go for recover, but I don't want to... I guess Celebi doesn't do much for me anyway in this game. Though it does threaten to cannon. Yeah, we'll keep this thing alive. Um, the Scarf Burden's faster than Scarf Heracross. Honchkrow comes out. Gigantic threat and a half. A Giga Drain just for some chip damage. I don't know if he's going to go for a Z-move. I want to keep this thing alive for Rotom, but I think that Snorlax in the back, Snorlax in the background is better for me. Go for another Giga Drain. I don't even care if you go for that Sucker Punch. I got to get rid of you right now. My hair across. I feel like some doubles are going to be pulled. I can't risk this. I got to go for close combat. 
Maybe if he later I can click knockoff. Um, but I can't risk anything. I gotta go for close combat. Can't risk the blade coming out. I can't risk missing as well. I could see him doubling right here, and I really want to risk. This is what I want to risk. So I'm gonna go for double close combat. My look is so obvious. Yeah, go ahead and double. Doubles out the two cannons, so we're gonna be able to get rid of that mon. I'm assuming he was bullet seat. Ah, get out of my sight. That's one less fodder I gotta deal with. The blade's gonna come out. He's gonna double again, but I'm not I'm not crazy. At least landing the toxic on Rotom is amazing. Oh, I didn't land the toxic on Rotom. It was on Sloking. I'm dumb. <laughs> hmm. Keys here is the best play. Nice Thunderbolt. Okay. Start getting up some spikes for that the blade. I'm tired of him switching around. Like it's nothing. Get up some more spikes. For that the blade. And now we'll be able to go out to Snorlax. Snorlax does live a hit. We can go for Fire Punch because it hits the blade. As well as Honchkrow. Get all them hazards up. Zero. Actually zero. Sacred Sword most likely kills me. I'm gonna double back onto my Lodic. Throw off a Scald. Hmm. I'm gonna throw off a Scald here. I didn't think he'd go directly into Rotom, but he is also, if I if I manage to get a burn here, he's making himself weaker to knock off, but I'm making myself weaker to Haunch Crow. I think Snorlax is the best play still. Assuming we tank two, as we do, nice. Nice. So we click Fire Punch here. Hope he doesn't paralyze us or crit us as he doesn't. And we win the game. Let's go! Because even if he switched out, he had to go Honchko to revenge kill me. And I just spam knockoff now. So I just click uh, Frustration here. Goes for Pursuit, knocks me out. But I can go right for knockoff. I do live a plus one Sucker Punch. I'm assuming he's like Dark Plate or something like that. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, though Palace Hand didn't do much in this game because he had the two birds, um, blocking that spin was incredible. Even if, I tanked that knockoff too. So, you see how well offensive Palace Swine tanks knockoff? You know that defensive Palace Sand will eat Dom Fan's hit. But the Blade cannot win. The Blade cannot win. It can knock me out with Shadow Sneak, but I have my Lodic in the back. We click Scald. I live a crit uh, Shadow Sneak on that mine at least. And we'll be able to win. Good game. Ah, that was a clean match. I had to fight for that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, feel free to leave a like. I think Palace Sand's really fun. Certain matchup it does a lot more. Obviously, if I didn't get overheated by that one Torkoal, he lost them on. I literally clicked Earth Power, and he lost them on. Suspects Palace Sand. But I didn't expect overheat. I expected Rapson. But like I said, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.